Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Hello again everyone, welcome back. We're on one day after the next day, as in, I can't remember what episode this is. Let's just collect that, very nice money coming in there, we're going to buy some more toad flax seeds. We're on day 33, that was the worst intro I've ever done by far. I'm just going to get a 12, so I'll have to do this again tomorrow. And we are also, I've decided, going to go ahead and grab four of these, because, like, it's not going to harm, is it? Look at the price of them. And they'll take about three days to grow, but once they have, four teak trees should be enough to get us up to 50 farming. So if Avento is still the better herb by then, then in, like, three days' time, then we'll be able to grow it. And it's just going to take us like two minutes to plant these trees and check them in a few days. So yeah, I figured I may as well plant some teak trees. I also didn't bring the teak trees with me because multitasking is difficult. Talking and doing something, like thinking about other things, it's hard work, man. I don't know how tough it is being a YouTuber. That was sarcasm, by the way, if uh, anyone couldn't tell. Alright, I'm just going to run over to the bank over here, it'll be quicker, I don't think we can use that jelly chocolate though, can we? No, I think it's quite a high level. Why is my M key not working? Show me the map. Does M not show you the map? Am I tripping? Okay, I've been playing Baldur's Gate too much. Right, let's dump all this shit. No, we wanted that jeweling ring. Let's get the farming shit, I don't know exactly what we need. Do we have a rake here? No, it must be in the thing in fact we'll just go straight to our farm run after this why not i think i got everything there guess i'll find out if not okay get the rake need the compost as well but so yeah it's gonna end up being a little bit of a slow start here today just because i'm planting these but we will have to worry about it again after that and even if avanto does go down having extra farming levels is never a bad thing because it increases our yield across the board with any herb we're more likely to get more herbs with a higher farming level so okay we do still need that actually so let's just use our brain and go to get some energy and yeah don't we don't have the out of this one so I think this is a bit of too much of a run. Oh my god, I keep pressing M to try and get my map open. Yeah, I think it's better to go to this fairy ring, probably on the way to ALQ, because the fairy ring itself is closer to, what do you want to call it, uh, rather than teleporting out again, you know what I mean? Teleporting back to the monastery. I don't know. I'm, am I even saying words? Maybe I should just stop talking. I'll let the footage speak for itself, which will probably not be a good thing. I'm going to go do the the teak tree now because it's frying my brain having to think about things that are different from normal things. If you ever want to know how to get to the Avium Savannah by Fairy Ring, A-J-P it is a Jerboa place. It is where the Jaboa place is. It is a Jaboa place. In fact, it's the only Jaboa place, but that does make it a Jaboa place, nonetheless. My chat log's just going to permanently say, mmm, now, because I keep trying to open my map. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Okay, so we need a couple more of them. I think I got too many there. We did treat that, though, so that's all good. That's what I was trying to say, is this fairy ring is closer than teleporting back to Monastery, I think. So now we can just go LQ, 
finish the rest of our farm run like normal. Uh, the plan for today is just going to be more of the same, I'm afraid. I know it's a bit grindy at the minute, but it is what it is. We are playing RuneScape after all. Need more melee levels. I actually looked up what the potion boundaries were for how I said I was going to do it. And it's 67 is the next boundary. So I think I'm going to take my strength up to 67. Maybe we'll get close today, who knows. And then the plan will be to do attack up to 67. However, we will, before we do attack up to 67, do it up to 63. And at that point, we can go to the champion skill to do some training. So yeah, I'm going to go 67 strength, 63 attack, and then do the defender grind. That's the plan. Okay, hopefully all that shit sells. Always makes me panic when things don't insta-sell. Bang up as well. Do we have all else? Don't particularly think so. The mahogany is no. Some random runes. We'll keep all of those for our magic grinds. Has it put everything up higher than it should be? Can't tell. Things sold overnight yesterday though. What am I actually doing? Going to do combat. Honestly, I thought I was wide awake. I've been up for like three hours. And then I've sat down in front of the computer and started recording. And it just feels like my brain stopped working. I can't even tell if I'm talking in coherent sentences or if I'm just stringing together words that make no sense whatsoever. What is wrong with me? Give me that money. I do like seeing this cash stack grow. Well, we only just got to 60. And you know what? I'm going to do attack just up to 61 because we're so close to a level. We may as well get like the bonus of level 61. So I'm going to do attack just like hit 61 and then do strength up to 67, which should only take a few minutes. The attack portion. I doubt we'll get the strength fully done today, but we should be close at least. Tell you what, I was pretty rapid at combining them there. Alright, this will do. Oh, should have had a cup of tea, but it's fine. We won't be running around very much in here. And there is the attack level as predicted. It only took us a minute or two. Straight back over onto the strength now. As our XP per hour is will probably struggle to catch up initially. So it's going to take a while before that. More accurately reflecting. Because my DDS was on strength. But still haven't seen the elusive 35. Seen both halves of it again today. The 17 and the 18. Well. Cool. Oh, it's just teasing me. What a throwback tune. This is the most nostalgic song in old school RuneScape. I don't even know where it comes from. This song is doing things to my loins right now that I can't explain. Makes me feel like a prepubescent boy again. Hey, we finally got the Sulfur Blades. That's so long! 837 kills before we got ourselves another pair of these bad boys. And they've gone down in price! They're like a third of the price where we spent like 60k on ours. What the hell? These things are even cheaper now! You know what that is? That's my viewers farming them, crashing the fucking market. Right there. That's, that's you, Marshmallow. It's your fault. I know you've been out here. Every day, fucking grinding the sulfur nagua, getting sulfur blades by the dozen and just crashing the market for the rest of us. You're an absolute fiend. Wow, that doesn't even feel like it's worth alking. Do I just alk them? It's 3k difference, I probably shouldn't. It's looking like we'll just get one and a bit levels today. It's still lower than it should be on the XP per hour. We're well, closer to like 95 at K an hour is what we're working on. It's just because of the uh, attack XP at the start of the day making it draining from the strength because of the time we spent. Like I still haven't even been here until aggro resets yet. So it's still very early in the trip. I feel like we're absolutely mowing them down though. I feel like if anything we're going higher XP rates than we have on previous days because there's barely any Nagua in the room at any given time. What? They're just dying. 
Ooh, we had an 1815 then. So close. You know, I do think this is the best place for me to train, for sure, like it's the fastest XP, guaranteed. But I appreciate it's a bit stale, like nothing's really happening on the content at the minute and there's a limited amount I can do about it because I need to get these levels one way or another. So I'm contemplating, like I think I'm gonna stay here till I get the stats for the Warriors Guild. Go in there for the defender grind. Lord knows how long we'll spend doing that. And it'll switch things up a bit. Well, it, it'll give us a bit of a different thing to hit, I guess. But more of a sense of progress as we move through it, perhaps, with the defender unlocks. After that, maybe when I've got, like, my dragon defender, it might be worth try and scurry us out again the thing is i don't really want to do it without a bone mace and we don't have one the only way to get one is killing him so like i don't think it's worth it to go there at the minute and kill him with our current setup to try and get a bone mace i think our kill times will be too slow once we've got the d defender maybe we can get kill scurry as reasonably enough with a defender and a d-sim that it won't take us that long to get the bone mace it's been ages since we've been to scurious it was way back in season one so it's not like going there would be uh repeated content like it's completely fresh at this point because it's that long since we did it plus we'll be doing it with a different style it doesn't change too much i don't think but see so yeah, i'm just wondering if that might Givers, because Scurrius should be like comparable to this. Even if it's not better, it should be not too much worse. It could be a little bit better, I'm not sure. But it'll just make things a bit different, so I don't have to be in this room all the time. Both for my sake and for your sake, as viewers. But that still leaves us with a couple more days to do here. I think we just lost aggro. Yeah, I wanted to do agility today, but it's not a good time for it. It's like 6 p.m. on a Sunday, so, you know, really not a good time for it. These are the quietest worlds at the minute, and like 700 busy, so. Hopefully, soon we get an opportunity to break this grind up with some agility. Because I am interested to try like a full day there, pretty much. When it's quiet hours, there's less chance of me getting my head kicked in. There's 68 magic coming in. Just ahead of the strength, we got that one. Have been alking pretty furiously this last day or two. And there is the strength level. 66. We've now got... I uh, saw an 18. Maybe that's an 18 on both halves now. I don't know, because we still haven't seen it, but I, if we don't see any more 17 max hit splats, that might be. Because I feel like it was the back half that had gone up first. Like it was a 17-18 rather than an 18-17, and I feel like that was an 18 on the first hit. There's an 18-12. Have we gone up again without actually seeing the 35? Who can tell? Not I. Yeah, that was 12-75 total level as well. I even realised, but we can use the 1250 worlds. Totally missed whenever that happened. Pretty big, to be honest, for an account that's played, I don't know, like 120 hours. I wonder what our actual play time is, but... Five days and four hours, but I'd say it's probably more like five days, isn't it? Five times 24, 120. Yeah, that sounds about right. We've just had that much AFK time at the end of the day talking about stats and scrolling through the bank to show what we've done or whatever. <laughs> 
Oh no, I saw a 17 max, y'all. The dream is dead. We do not have a 36. We do still have a 35 that we haven't seen, though. We might just be able to crack out a hit points level as well, you know. We've got about six minutes on the timer for it. I reckon we can get one of them too before we finish up here. Of course, I didn't say anything about it for some reason, but that magic level as well did just unlock as blood burst, which is a huge nice thing to have. Might make it worth trying to go back to the armored zombies. And give him another whirl. Because we won't need to bring food now. We just bring blood runes instead. So that is likely to drain our cash stack. I still feel like it is probably more worth waiting until we've got ice as well. Once we get ice burst. We'll be able to freeze one of the rangers that attacks us out of two. Around a corner with the armored zombies. And then we'll only have one armors at a time. Which will mean we're taking much less DPS overall. Taking no damage from the melees that we're praying against. It'd just be one ranger on us then. They have like a max hit of like, I don't know, eight or something. It's not that bad. And then, you know, when we do get low, we'll just be able to use blood spells to heal up quickly. The reason it wasn't working before is because we didn't have the multi-target blood spell, so... I was just healing, like, 30% of 8 damage to a random zombie rather than 30% of 8 to 20 damage against all zombies. What is that guy doing running through here with a Pharaoh Scepter? I have never been more clueless in my life. Is that, that was a Pharaoh Scepter, right? I'm not tripping. Wh why has he brought that here? Why would you be... I'm so fucking confused. That has just flabbergasted me. Looks like we've lost aggro. I'm going to stay till we get the hit points level, and then I'm guessing our potions will run out at a very similar time, which is probably going to leave us a few minutes on the clock still. So we might end up going to do that hard clue step. Let's hope I actually remember to bring the clue with me this time. I bet we got decent way into our next level there as well. Just 100 kills we're expecting around about to our next strength level. Not bad at all. Definitely making a solid progress towards that 67. And we'll just need two more attack levels before we're ready to go to the Warriors Guild. One more day here at max with potential agility to break it up. So I don't know if it'll be tomorrow or the day. There it is. 70 hit points. The big 7-0. 84 combat level as well for the trouble. Very nice to see. We got six minutes left on the clock. I'm gonna head to turn in my sulfurous essence, and then I think yeah, we might might go do a bit of a clue. Thank you for the XP. Birdhouses are done. We'll do birdhouses, and then we will go to the clue, and we're off. Another it's the third spirit seed. God damn. Couldn't just give me some dragon fruit seeds instead? You know, ones that sell for 100k? I'll take Celestris, I'm not picky. Okay, three minutes left. I, we can probably just do that one clue step, I imagine. Remind us all. Saradomin Wizard, so we're gonna want a little bit of combat stuff, but nothing too heavy. We'll just take that. And a DDS. Yeah, and we'll take a pair of sulfur blades. We need a spade as well. We'll need an axe. And I don't know if we need a mash, so we'll take one just in case. And then we want some energy. Don't want to run out. Should be all good. Combat potion. May as well. Alright. I reckon we just, just about get this clue step done. So long as I didn't forget anything, but I think I got everything. CKP? CKR? Straight in. Oh, I should have brought a fucking ranged weapon, shouldn't I? And an anti-poison. And food. I swear to god, if this guy kills me. Yep, as predicted, pretty much just exactly enough time. No, Leo, you can't borrow me for a minute. My time is up, my friend. CIS is the next one, just travel to a fairy ring, that's a very easy step to do. How many steps did we do there? One, we've just done one. Fuck off Leo. We've done one step, so yeah. 
we've still got plenty to do before that clue is done right now we are up to around about 2.3 mil plus we've got a similar amount in miscellaneous so nearing on 5 mil in the uh, communal pot the communal pot I wonder why it's my pot uh, we still got those toad flax for sale as well. I just didn't sell it all. I may have to lower them, but we'll see. We'll see if they go overnight. We got our teak trees planted today, which will be done Wednesday at 5 p.m. I will try and make sure I log in after 5 p.m. on Wednesday, because otherwise that will take an extra day of waiting. And yeah, things are going pretty decent. In terms of the XP, we got 124k today. A beautiful 27,000 magic XP. It does unlock us that blood burst that we've been grinding towards, which makes our healing against the armored zombies way, way better. We got slightly more farming XP than usual, thanks to planting those teak trees, and we'll have another boost up to 50, basically. We'll get all the way to 50 once we harvest those teak trees. And by harvest, I mean click on them once and then walk away. I'm not actually going to chop them down. 60,000 strength XP, we spent about 30, maybe 35 minutes there, so not bad at all. We got a ton of XP for the time we spent there, and uh, 20k to go with it, 3k in attack, just because I was right on the edge of that level. A bit of uh, ring crafting from the sulfur essence, yeah, it's been a solid, solid day. Very solid indeed. We are coming together. One more strength level, two more attack levels, which is like a day of training, maybe slightly more, and we'll be ready to go and get ourselves a dragon defender. Well, we're ready to go and get ourselves a bronze defender and work our way up to a dragon defender. And then, yeah, like I say, maybe after that I'll go check out Scurrius with, with the D defender, see if I can get a bone mace and just get an idea then when we have the bone mace of if it's actually better than or worse than sulfur nagua we'll be able to compare them one for one in the same gear setups just using the respective weapons against the respective enemies so that'll be a nice little contrast to see i reckon of which one is actually the superior training method for melee, because the both new methods that Jagex have released in the past couple months, you know, this year, they've both come out, and they're both mid-level training methods. We'll finally get a good read on that. And, yeah, I'm gonna stop waffling, because i got Chinese on the way. Man's hungry. Please do leave a like on the video and a comment down below to tell me you love me, or tell me you hate me, tell me anything you like. I'm not picky. And hit the subscribe button if you haven't already love to see it get to 300 we're on the way there we're on 285 at the minute i think it's so nice seeing people come in please please do join the family here if you feel so inclined until next time look after yourselves be lovely to one another i'll see you on the next one